Hello everyone. I'm so excited to talk about this new song. We are discussing Bjork's new single, The Gate, which was just released today ahead of its original scheduled release next Monday when we are getting the new music video, which was filmed by Andrew Thomas Huang, who she has collaborated with several videos in the past. And then it'll be out on vinyl next Friday. I have so much to say about this song and I was going into it, I had so many thoughts and emotions. You know, I just recently filmed my Volna Cura review and I was talking about how the album was so heavy and so dark and how it was yearning for some sort of catharsis, for some sort of healing of all these wounds. And I'm researching about this project and um, Bjork's collaboration with Arca once again, as she did with Volna Cura, the Venezuelan producer she's been working with a lot recently. It's come kind of full circle now in that Bjork is truly going into a more lighter, airy, more whimsical, and a little bit more soft and refined sound. But it does still have a very urgent, sort of dire kind of feeling to it. The Gate is not by any means the most frilliest and happiest of love songs. Yes, it is a love song. And it sings about love in a very transcendental, esoteric way. The lyrics, my healed chest wound transformed into a gate where I receive love from, where I give love from. Later on, split into many parts, splattered light beams into prisms that will reunite. She's asking for someone to care for her and she, as she cares for them. So she repeats that over and over in a very kind of emotional delivery that really sees her again soar with her vocal delivery and performance. And the voice is the centerfold of this song because there are a lot of moments where the production hushedly sort of retreats and lets Bjork come back into the forefront. This song never pounds or gets too, you know, beat driven, but it has some very interesting atmospheric sound uses that sound almost like a match being lit that kind of goes off in the background and sort of fades in and out. The song has a very sort of ambient edge to it. It has a sort of surreal, spacey sound, and I am so in love with it. And I'm telling you, you have to listen to it with headphones because it really immerses you more that way. You really feel all of the sounds and the, the oral experience that you can tell that she's putting forth and trying to portray with this, you know, as she called it in an interview, the sphere of this song. As she did view this song as a sphere with its own sort of compartments swirling around within it. And she's just a part of all these sounds. And she's singing about, you know, when the healing begins of the chest or the chest wound, you begin to give love again and open the gateway up into learning to love someone else and receiving and being more vulnerable once again, instead of being so, you know, closed in. And there's still, you know, an element of chaos to her delivery. And there is still a little bit of element of chaos to the production, but I'm okay with it. You know, it's not like easy to sink your teeth into the song immediately. Bjork's not going to make a super accessible song. I'm not necessarily asking for her to do that, but it's accessible to me now in a way that some of the songs on Volnacura felt like so heavy and so cacophonous that I just had a lot of trouble getting into them. Although I really, really appreciated the lyrical content. This song, because it spaces it out a lot more, obviously feels very, very personal and touching in a way that some of the other more you know, harder, edgy kind of songs didn't feel. I just watched an interview with her where she talks about the album, and it sounds as though the album is going to be called Utopia. She's a little unsure still at this point, but in her talking and discussion of this album, she's talking about ways to find love in a futuristic society and understanding technology, understanding humanity coming together, all of these things, you know, the cheesy cliche of utopia, is that possible? And what kind of form is that going to take going forward in our ideology and in our political movements? All of these threads and through lines come together and I think really form a solid record that I, this song fits so wonderfully within because this is like the entryway. This is the portal song, as it is called, The Gate, to, to a Bjork who feels a lot more at peace with the surrounding world and music that is going to reflect a love of all things. You know, she's called it All is Full of Love 2.0, and I definitely feel those sentiments being carried through again. 
with where she's going, which why, which is made, it does feel a little bit like coming for a circle. And as you know, you know, we knew that this was going to be about healing. We knew that this was going to be about the light instead of the dark. So I, for one, really praise this song. Longtime Bjork fans, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I know some people, you know, probably aren't going to like that she's still getting like more and more, I don't know. Like some people really want Bjork to try and make like a dance song again or to try and maybe lose some of the pretentious art piece, you know, artifice around her. And I can understand that, but honestly, I feel like Bjork's career has been building this momentum to keep building and building upon more of this sort of surrounding yourself with just not just vis music, but visual technology. You know, she has Bjork Digital, which is this VR installation that she's touring the world with that she wants to include the Gates music video within as it's released, although the music video will be released in a 2D format. She said she was very excited to finally actually release just a normal video somewhat so that everyone could ex access it instead of it being something you had to go to a museum to see because I didn't, you know, get to see all of Bjork's work for Volnikira because I did go to her MoMA show in 2015, but beyond that I didn't get to see some of the other videos that she created and at least all their VR glory. I'm just, I'm really excited for what's to come. The album is rumored to be coming out in November, so we'll see. Fingers crossed, it's probably going to be sometime around then. So, really excited. Um, the gate, it's, it opens up a whole new sort of, but yet feels, it feels very at home with her catalog. But it opens up a whole new feeling for me whenever I listen to it that I have really needed at my, this point in my life. Um, because there's a certain oral effect to this song that is very soothing, that is very aesthetically pleasing, visually and sonically. And that's something that, you know, it appeals to the senses and it really inspires and, and you know, it gives you a taste of a beautiful world, a, maybe an ideal world, idealized world, but a beautiful world. I'm really looking forward to the music video. I may even do a video talking about the music video because there probably is going to be so much to talk about with that. So. Um, I will continue to do, I've got a lot more Bjork album reviews to do, obviously, um, in the coming months, so I'm going to be doing that. I need to do Homogenic still, so that one's probably going to be coming pretty soon. Um, and so just stay tuned for all of that, and uh, subscribe if you like listening to me ramble about these songs. Um, I keep on, I want to keep doing this, so thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace, love, and light.